Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for Seriously Podcast. You can find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and Google Play at Seriously Podcast, as well as on the Indie Creative Network. You can also follow us on our official website at seriouslypodcast.com. Please like, rate, review, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to follow us on all social networks at Seriously Podcast. Thanks again for tuning in and enjoy the show. If you want the tea, can get with Seriously. Talking about your favorite web series Right here on Seriously Seriously Just relax We got recaps Free your mind and have a good time Right here on Seriously Hey guys, I'm Mary And I'm Brittany <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Seriously Podcast Yes Woof woof Today, Ooh. we're continuing with Step for the Side Chicks. We're getting into episode three and four. But it's a very special episode because we have a guest. Whoop, 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 whoop. Introduce yourself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, it's Ooh. you. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, darling. <laughs> so, I am Vestia Sylvester, also known as Jador Vestia, pretty much everywhere in the great grandfather of the realms <laughs> of the world. Um, I pretty much do any and everything that I've ever wanted to do since I was a child. So when I was a child, I wanted to act, so started acting. Mm. So when I was a child, I wanted to cook, started cooking. <laughs> so pretty much anything that I've ever wanted to do is what I do. Um, I don't necessarily have like one specific thing. But if I had to say anything, I would call myself a mompreneur. Mm -hmm. um, I am a mother, and I pretty much do everything. Right. Anything yes. you need done, I either know how to get it done, got it done, did it, been there, done that. Yes. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and you also released the book, right? Yes, Tell us author. about that. Yes. First off, I wanted to bring books here, but the way that you know um, it being sold out was set up. <laughs> Yes, but hey, that's a blessing right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> My book was sold out. Um, no. <laughs> Waitlist. Okay. <It's> Waitlist. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, seriously, uh, the book is called Smile Envy, and it's basically a documentation of the world of someone who smiles all the time that everybody always thinks, oh, her life must be perfect. All she do is laugh and tell jokes. And I'm like, nah, I've been through some things mm -hmm. before. Yeah. Um, so, like, in the book, I talk about being raped by an ex-boyfriend. I talk mm -hmm. about, you know... Um, being a mom at 16 years old, I talk about different aspects of my life. I especially talk about, of course, heartache, heartbreak, yeah. you know, yeah. the regular schmegular, degular <laughs> <laughs> narrative of right. a majority of us women, especially if you're in New York. Hello. Um, yeah. Hello. <laughs> dogs out here. <laughs> dogs out here <laughs> so um in the book i talk about those things and i do it in poem form mm -hmm. um i actually um i'm in the process of moving so like you know you're packing all your stuff right. you're throwing stuff out and while i was like going through my stuff i actually saw this um certificate from deaf poetry jam when i did it back in like 2000 and like 13 i was like 12 at the time what? and i was like the youngest person to do deaf poetry jam and i was like you see i found what? it I, I ain't new to this poet <laughs> world i've been here you know oh, so wow I, that's it, cool like i said anything i ever wanted to do as a kid yeah that's what i was gonna do that's what's um up. and i want my daughter to do the same thing so i can't sit there and tell her follow her dreams and then i'm over here neglecting mine right so, exactly that that's pretty much the premise of the book. Um, it can be found on stealove.com or if you go on my Instagram, you click on the top link and it should direct you straight to the book. Also, 30% of all proceeds are always going to be donated to charity, point blank period. Mm, um, whether that. it's on discount or not on discount it's always going to be 30 percent of whatever gets sent to them mm -hmm. um i produced the books by myself i edited the book by myself i came wow. up with the she, she's not playing on him. she said i <laughs> do it all she like i literally I did it. do it all. <laughs> you know i did it i do it i <laughs> yes. get it done like that's just she's not what playing. i do listen I that was the Nicki minaj in me okay yes 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 <laughs> bring her out bring her out <laughs> 
All right. Okay. What was the first web series you ever watched? The first web series I ever watched, um, well, that I ever enjoyed, mm-hmm. I don't want to say watched, was um, Awkward Black Girl. Yay. And then from <laughs> Awkward Black Girl, I kind of sort of veered on to uh, Roomy Lover Friends. Yes. Uh-huh. And Classics. Right, yeah. Yeah. throwbacks. It ain't ain't nothing like it no At more. All. I don't want to say nothing, <laughs> you know. Um, uh, and then I think after that, I just started watching like just random ones here and there. I still haven't watched um, money, sex, violence, something like money that. Money and violence. Money and violence. Yes. I still haven't gotten a chance to watch that, but Not that's alone. next. So, would you consider yourself like a web series junkie? Almost, you watch a lot of them. Um, I would say that I am the most inconsistent consistently inconsistent Mm. person on the planet (laughs) um i get into like these bouts where i'm like really fascinated with something and then i'll watch everything like give me and then like 10 seconds later i'm like i'm bored so (laughs) i have like those two extremes got you got you um so i wouldn't say that i'm like a big big web series person but if i have other people to watch it with heck Yeah. yeah Cause we met you at the um, Beyond Complicated event. Yes, yes. So yes. <laughs> well, I know that's one of your, probably your favorite. One. Yes, um, Beyond Complicated is something that I, I thoroughly enjoy watching. Um, I watched. Okay, so backstory. Top three. Top three. It well, it wouldn't be Beyond Complicated. It's okay. Black Actress. Okay. Black oh, Actress. Okay. I actually had like the smallest role in like an episode, like in the what season two. I gotta yeah. go back. Yeah. I didn't see. Listen, I gotta go back. Literally, all you see is me sitting there shaking my head and and <laughs> what you call it, and then I'm I'm gone. Andrea, <laughs> I'm just saying. I know you listen to this. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Put a sister on to Ooh. a couple more. She wants some lines next time, you know Andrea. I want some better lines next time. <laughs> she want to say something. <laughs> like, call me. Um, no, but I, I I started watching from, you know, when she first started. And then to see Beyond Complicated turn into what it turned into, I was just so, like, the storyline was different. Yeah. Um, the way that they conveyed the story was captivating. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved it. Um, I tried to be, um, what's his name's friend? <laughs> Whatever his name is. Him? He, I tried oh, to be, I tried sky. to be his friend, right? I think he probably thought that it was, like, hitting on him oh. instead of trying to be his Ooh. friend. <laughs> I was like, dang, bro. <laughs> I was like, I'm just awkwardly not good at the whole right, friendship right, right. thing. <laughs> you remember, like, oh, she's trying to. Like, what? oh, she's trying to. Oh, no, no, no. No, just friends, just friends. <laughs> but no, like, the whole entire, anything under that Jungle Wild television, mm-hmm. I was Christmas really, really July, in love with. Yeah. Okay, so today we're talking about Stepford's side chicks. So you watch so far. So who's your favorite character on the show so far and why? Hmm. I can honestly say at the moment, none. Ooh. Really? Yes. Um, the only reason why that is is because so far I feel like their characters are still kind of sort of developing to me. Mm-hmm. Um, like, yeah, you got introduced in the first episode and you got like the introduction in that uh, the second yeah. episode. But it's it's something about wanting to see like all right, let me see you a little bit more right, right, before right. I get that feeling. Um, I know who I can't stand so far. Talk Uh-oh. about it. Tyra, baby. Uh, oh, yeah, we had some words for her last yeah. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she like, ain't slick. A, not only is she not slick, but girl, if you don't take your judgmental behind so somewhere else. <laughs> like, I was like, geez, Louise. Yes. And it's not even like a subtle neither. No. It's just blatant like, Oh, yeah. Oh, you that's for your boyfriend? Mm. <laughs> I want to throw shade. Like, right. Everything is shady. I was like, geez. Yeah, it's true. Um, it's And true. I think the, uh, the second problematic one is Mel. Mel. Yeah. Mel. Each episode, help. I'm like, girl, you, you need, need help. help. <laughs> like, <laughs> listen, I don't even think it's the, the fact that she need help. I'm just like, sis, come on. Like, it's like. She's answering Wake up. her own questions. Like, girl. Wake up. My thing is this. If you're going to do what you want to do, just do it. Stop sitting there trying to be like, put that cape on. Like, oh, no, I'm that. No, 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 sis. Mm-mm. You and Cheyenne, y'all the same. Mm-hmm. Don't do it. <laughs> just because you wear the pearls and she don't. don't right. Do it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. 
So, yeah. Other than that, everybody else, they haven't, like, really shown themselves. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get into it. Let's start with episode three. So the episode starts off, Mel, her car broke up. Why she, she does like she had a funeral, though? <laughs> With them damn sunglasses. I was she like, girl, was, cut girl. It it's the glasses and the pearls. Like, <laughs> well, she's in mourning. Her relationship oh, is there dead. You go. So that's the funeral right it's there. Dead. <laughs> so she sends out a group tag, you know, um, her car's broke down, so she needs help. And of course, Brent, the first one to answer. Mad quick, though. Mad quick. I'm like, was he stalking her? Because he shows he up so by the quick. Phone. Wait like, in. She, I know she's going to contact me at <laughs> some point. At any moment. <laughs> He's like, she going to need but me. But my thing was like, girl, no triple A? <laughs> Hello, hello, really? and that's what he's the first thing he said. Uh, you know, I told you to get triple A. You know what I didn't like? He knocks on the window talking about we need to talk, but then he opened the door. I said, Girl, your, 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 lo- your door's not locked, yeah. And then she got out of the car, he was I, like, Get out because she sorry. wants to hit, she listens to she him. wanted that, she wanted Whoa. it, she wanted every second of this, she wanted all of it, all of it. Stupid. Just like, oh, you didn't tell me about the wife and kids. Like, bruh, that's not the question. Hey, you want me to fix your car? Right. Like, like how we doing this? <laughs> so, of course, she's like, fix the car, Brent. Um, then leave. Then, that's why I wish I wish you should have said fix it and then go. But she didn't. Of course not. No. Because you know what she really wanted to do in the backseat of that. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's like... Um, you know, I'm shocked you even came. He's like, don't do that, Mel. Sure, I messed up, but don't act like I don't love you. Don't act like when you need me, I won't come running. I thought I was watching a soap opera. So you are <laughs> right? so dramatic. You are the dramatic. So You're dramatic. killing me. <laughs> You're killing me. So dramatic. And I think also the other part that I found so sneaky is like, instead of her being like, oh, somebody came, um, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, when well, her friend said, exactly. When Ty was like, do you want me to still come by? She was like, I'm good. I was like, oh. Say it's Brent. Say like, it's Brent. Yeah, say, um... The dude that I'm not supposed to be sleeping with, right. that I'm still sleeping right. with, he came through. Yeah. Okay? He came through. He came through. That's why I'm keeping him around. Bay is here. Exactly. <laughs> Bay is here. Okay? <laughs> but then he said, I'm not going to have my lady out here stranded. Uh, I said, you're what? And listen, <laughs> you're who? Listen. Your, your wife is not here. <laughs> what do you mean? That's no. what I would have said. And she's like, I'm not your lady. That's all you got? All right, Sis, girl. that's all you can say. Right. Come on. Listen, you need zingers, okay? <laughs> right, she needs to have them on hand. She She's not ready. Zingers. Mella's not ready for this life. <laughs> At you all. know who would have been? Tyra. Oh, Tyra yeah. would have had zingers oh, yeah. for days. She loved no. being a sarcastic one. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Not when you're in love. I don't see her doing oh. that. But I do only because I think she would want to hold on to her cynicism. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That is mm-hmm. a good point. That's true. Because Lord knows I am. <laughs> <laughs> so Mel asks, like, why are you here? And he's like, why did you text? Like, girl, stop it. You know stop. why he's here. You know exactly why he <laughs> came He's here. like, you needed me, and I need you. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> epic, insert epic eye roll here. Right? Okay. Right? I love Natalie. I do. She has my son. I'm in love with you. You don't find what we have every day. You're my favorite person. I can talk to you for hours. I didn't mean for this shit to happen, Mel. And I don't want to cause you no more pain. I love the shit out of you, girl. And then he got a little hood. Right. What's that? But you know, Mel was but, like, but it you didn't know sound right. <laughs> no, I it love you, girl. I, it didn't sound right. It yeah. was like, I love the shit out of you. I was like, oh. Um. She melting, though. She falling in love all over. She again. was looking at him like they were exchanging vows on their wedding day. Yes. <laughs> Especially the way that she was over there squinting into his eyes. Yeah. Right. Like, I love the shit out right. of you, girl. I love the shit out of you, girl. I'm like, if you don't take your corny, you know what? <laughs> girl, in love. In love. L O V E, not L U V. I love you, girl. It's a difference. <laughs> Okay, so Ty doing her research still, <laughs> pacing oh, yeah. back and forth, laying on the table like she ain't got no damn hole training. <laughs> First off, when she like, all right, back Creating up the when list. she went to the whole um when she went to them and they told her, hey, no, you don't have an original idea. That's not an original. 
original idea. Corinne Stephens already wrote a book. Talk about it. On how to be a side chick. True, true. What you writing? Talk That's about true. it. That's true. Talk about it. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not my business. I don't know. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not my business. <laughs> I don't mind my business. <laughs> She's doing all this research. They're going to be like, what you want me to do with this book? It's already out. It's <laughs> right. Listen. There has been side chicks. There have been husbands who don't want to leave their wives. There has been mm-hmm. women who want to steal husbands for as long as time has been in existence. Mm. You ain't writing nothing new. That's true. <laughs> so Mel finally comes home, and she pays in too. So She's then Ty, the investigator, yes. is like, so, you and Brent. <laughs> Mel's like, what? What'd you hear? Right. Who said what? <laughs> Wait, what? Who what happened? What happened? <laughs> so Ty's like, where did you guys meet? I could have sworn she told her that we met at work. Yeah, she know that. So <laughs> you're not slick. And look at her right. She's writing it down. Everything she says, like once you're not again, even low. You, Mel's not paying attention because she got that notepad with her. You need to be focused on what your friend is over here doing. Yeah, because it's like I don't know. I for me, the fact that she's over here writing all of this stuff down and she's pretty much relishing in the pain of her friend for a story is crazy to me. Yeah. That's crazy. She hasn't even thought about at all. Like she don't oh, care. Does my friend want to this have this story out, out there? No. Like, but I'm gonna mind my business, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> so then she con- she asks, like, are you considering getting back together with him? And Mel's like, I don't know how to answer that. Girl, we all know the answer. We all know the answer already. Why would you consider getting back with someone who is clearly with someone else and lied about it? What is the best case outcome that you worked out for this scenario? I don't know, Ty. I don't know what answers I'm supposed to give or say. The love doesn't just go away. And the male's like, I don't have the answers to it. Like, I don't know nothing. <laughs> I just know that the love don't go away. Okay? Right. This he makes true. me feel good. He doesn't believe in a man. <laughs> a man should hit a woman. When she said that, like, I was like, you're just making up excuses. And anything, my parents been together for 40 years. He walks his dog. Like, he works out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. These are the reasons. He, he's my guy. That's, that's it. Yeah, that's all like, I got for you. Like, I feel like I'm in love now. That's yeah, it. that's my he gets standards. To work on time. Like, I don't know, know what to tell you. you. You know when you have like that level of standards? Yeah, it's like it's down here. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's right here at the base. Because that, that's what he's so, that's what he's hitting, the base. That's it. It just works. He's my guy. Like, yeah, I love him. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. So Mel's like, you know, we need to go release this tension. Let's go hiking. Right. So Ty, they go hiking, um, and Ty is struggling. You know, this is not her t- her lifestyle. Her she stays theme. at home. That's what she this does. Is, no, this is it. Um, at this point, we see Brent with another woman who, mind you, is not the woman who jumped Melissa in the beginning. My initial thought was, Harper, who this woman? Bruh, I, I, who this woman? I was like, is he a personal trainer? I'm Listen, confused. What does he do? I was so confused <laughs> because I was not expecting this. No, 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 so who no, this no, woman? No. Who this? I was Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. Turns out it's his wife. The wife. It's the wife. Because she's talking his ear off about the baby and Brent's over her. Brent been over Side her. note, not the same woman from episode yeah, one that, at that attacked yeah, Mel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talking about mind. stay away from my man. Stay woke, y'all. Mm-hmm. Stay woke. <laughs> <laughs> Three so, women so far. Pay yeah, attention. yeah, yeah. So, obviously, you see Brent can't stand this woman. Ready can. to go. He's so rude to Ready her. Ready to go. He's so rude to her. Um, so, next, we go back to Ty and Melissa. And Ty's, like, basically putting all of Melissa's information on I would have been so staff. upset. Yes. What are you Beyond doing? She put her upset. full name. Like, Government Ma- name. Melissa tell Monroe. him my business. What are you doing? But yes. she's probably a nobody who has no following. Nope. So... <laughs> It's like she's broadcasting it to probably like her um her cousin twice removed <laughs> her cousin. something <laughs> her neighbor you know <laughs> probably the only people that are gonna see it you know right 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 <laughs> but nah I would have felt some kind of way because how dare you feel like that's okay to put mm-hmm. my personal yeah. business even if we were on. joking like, moving very funny to me exactly very funny from since the first episode yeah we're moving funny but she's then she friend. said like okay you need to have a list of rules if you're gonna do this thing with Brent and I'm like oh no baby what is you doing mm-hmm. oh, no, you the no, main baby. one that was like stay away from him <laughs> but now you're giving her ideas as to why she needs to stay of with him of course you're gonna get book. exactly because I, I, oh, no. I wanna help my book I need to see right? I need to see I need to experience 
experiment. Exactly. You using your friend. That's yes. your bestie? That's, your, yes. that's her bestie. No. <laughs> no, seriously, Mel? I think you should have a list of rules. For what? If you're gonna do this thing with Brent. Ty, number one, do really love him. Otherwise, it's a waste of time, don't you think? Number two, don't date other people. Otherwise, you're just a single person. So you might as well just date someone who's single. How that makes sense? <laughs> <laughs> because if you're single, uh huh, then why, you should, date why date somebody that's a married? married man? You could just date other single people. Because what if I just want to have sex with you and be about my business? I can't do that with another single person because if that other person's single, then you're going to keep bothering me. going to call me, ask me where I'm at, ask me, oh, when are you going to see me? When yeah, are you going to yeah, make yeah. time? I don't want to make time Break for you. Break I want what I want, and then I'm going to be about my business. <laughs> yeah, set schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I know for a fact, like, oh, you married? You have to go home. Right. True, 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 true. You don't have to stay but here But that's anymore. not how Melissa thinks. That's more like Cheyenne. Yeah. Yeah. This is true. Yeah. So that's why she had to break, give her rules. So at this point, Mel is like, listen, we're not getting back together. Mind you, as Melissa's talking, Brent and Natalie are approaching. I'm like, oh, gosh. Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. So Melissa introduces herself to Natalie, and Brent is in the daze. Homeboy forgot her name. He said, this is a... <laughs> Homeboy ain't even worried about that. He no, forgot he his forgot. own wife he name because he's in like, the daze. First off, he's over here like, all right, here's the woman that I want, want. to be married to, mm-hmm. and then there's this. This like, damn. My baby mama. <laughs> my baby mama. <laughs> this so, yeah. Part. Melissa's like, oh, your wife. I know, I know Brent from work, but you know, she's smiling. I feel like deep down, she's like, this is your wife? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Judging. Because I was. <laughs> <laughs> so, Natalie. The wife was super happy, though. Like, oh my God, finally yeah. I get to meet someone from his job. He, he keeps her in the dark. I would too. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that was, that was another sign. <sighs> Melissa, she's not paying attention. No. no, the wife wasn't paying attention no. because she's she she too, too happy. She was too, talk, too, busy too happy talking. talking. Like, talking. You can see through their body language, they're more than just co workers. Yeah. The way but, he, they're gazing into each other's eyes. But I think for her in the beginning, before she opened her mouth, she thought something, if that makes sense. Like when she saw Natalie. Them, yeah, yeah when she did. Natalie, at first, like, Look Why back y'all both, both like... acting like this, you mm-hmm. know? Because for me, I'd have picked up on that, like, little pause. Like, what you pausing for? Right, right, That's right. just your co-worker. <laughs> Who this? You better hug her up and act like this is family or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> like mm-hmm. no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. So, um... As the wife is babbling and talking about the baby, Melcy's red. Mm-hmm. And oh, she blacks yes. out. Black out. <laughs> And in her little daydream, she is giving mama work. Like, she's beating the wife up. I'm like, oh, my God. Where was that work when that first lady came at your door? Talk about it. Listen. (laughs) Don't tell me you was at a daze when you went to knock on, when that person knocked on your door. Yes, yeah, more than enough time. And I told you she'd be kickboxing. Yes, she Because she was giving her that work. (laughs) And I said, really? Like, you blaming the wife? You ready to attack the wife? Yeah, you should be. That fantasy should have been fighting him. Like, yeah. I think the it's only easier reason, to go again, go after the woman. It is. Um, but well, the problem. in a sense, I feel like as women, we're taught to break down other women, mm-hmm. or like we have certain things where it's like, oh no, you don't want to hurt the the person that you're in love with. You don't yeah. want to break them. You want to break the person that's keeping you from you them. Blame her for exactly. ruining your happiness. Mm-hmm. So it's like. I personally would be giving him all types of work, like. But she an L O V E. What that mean? I don't know. Oh. That's what she's Tell us in. about that. I, yeah. What is this? What is this? Tell L-O-V-E. us about that L O V E. What is this L O V E you speak That's of? That's what she's in. That's oh. all I know. Okay. I just know heartbreak. Okay. So let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so later that night, you know, Mel, she asleep, but she still got that framed picture of them mm-hmm. on her nightstand mm-hmm. Think I didn't ain't nothing changed ain't nothing changed in her mind they still together oh yeah um so i think she was like dreaming about the time where they asked each other like why do you love me mm. well, is she, that what it was or she was it was just... a, a dream she just had a dream oh okay um 
But she asked him, and he was like, you're the first thing I think about when I wake up, and the last thing I think about when I close my eyes. I'm so happy with you. All right. So to give you guys a visual, um, I'm playing a violin. (laughs) (laughs) I am playing a violin. (laughs) Oh, my God. Like, it's so cliche. Like, it's like the stereotypical thing that a guy always says. Like, oh, I dream about you every night. But she's falling for it. I wake up. Oh, she loved it. She She ate that up. She's cheesing. She ate that up. She's like, oh, my God, he's speaking to me in my heart. He yes, loves me. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah, girl. Right. So he's like, how do you know? She said, I'll show you. Girl. So sex. Oh, of course. <laughs> That's how I show That's my how love. That's how I show my love. Listen, look, you know, this some vagina. of us, some, some of us, <laughs> some of us prefer that way. <laughs> so then she wakes up. Of course. <laughs> Was a dream, but, um. She wakes up in a sweat, but at the same exact time, Brent texts her like, "It was great seeing you today. I miss you. I'm outside. Take a ride with me." I said, "Okay, Nelly." <laughs> you know, Mama gonna go take that ride. What you thought? Sure would take two types of rides. <laughs> oh, so what time is that? How, 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 what can I get? Refresh? Like, like exactly. Let me, let, me just, let, me, let me clean up just a little real bit. Quick, real quick. Real quick. Oh, Melissa. All right, so that was episode three um, of Step for Side Chick. Let's get into episode four. Okay, so episode four is about Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Her life story. Yeah. So the episode starts off, um, Cheyenne and some guy, like, they're having sex. And she was about to come, but he stops her because his girl's home. So he hides her in the closet. He said, wife or girl? I don't know. His lady. His lady. (laughs) I was so annoyed. Girlfriend, 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 girlfriend. girlfriend. We confirmed. Confirmed. Um, So (laughs) She's home, so he hides her in the closet. I said, oh, man. Trapped in the closet? Trapped in the closet. Oh, girl. She was on Kelly. Shit, think, shit. Think shit quick, put me in the closet. I'm over here thinking about that. I'm over here thinking about like Shorty was right there about to get her. Yes. Yeah. Really, bro. Yeah. Like you see how long it took the girlfriend to come. But you see how long it took the girlfriend to come. Yeah, she, she could have got, got it real quick. Yeah. She could have got it. <laughs> they so don't the, want a chance. The girlfriend, the girlfriend comes in and she's like, it stinks in here. You need to take the trash out. It's mm. like, girl. If only you knew. <laughs> if only you knew what was in that closet, girl. That smell is. Forget, if only you knew. Forget the closet. What she about to put in her mouth? Hello. Talk about First it. First of all, she in the bed with her, with her outside clothes. Mm. She didn't change. Nasty. <laughs> but, yet, but yet again. Talk about it. But yet again, this stinks. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, baby, I've been thinking about it all day. Right. He's trying to talk her out of it. Like, nah, nah, let's go to the movies. Nah, nah. Any any reason to get out there. Right. Mm-mm. First off, he did a But poor she didn't job question, how are you naked already? <laughs> he probably already sleep naked. Maybe. Because, I'm sorry, if he know how to throw her off that quickly for her to hide in the closet... He ain't no amateur. He done mm. did this a couple of times. Yeah, 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 so he yeah, know yeah. by now, listen, sleep naked. <laughs> that way she can never question it. <laughs> That's true. But then she goes down, but there's no condom. Mm-mm. Oh, no. So he's nasty. Mm-hmm. Everybody nasty. Everybody nasty. <laughs> they just she's a, I listen, feel like safe sex, y'all. Okay? Yeah, safe sex, Wrap y'all. It up. Especially when y'all live in foul. Tested. Look at foul out living here. Living foul out here. Double live. Get tested she got a with message. your partners. Like, on some real, there's some extra stuff that's going on out there in the world today. Mm-hmm. Be very aware of mm. who you dealing with. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay? Like, mm-mm. Jesus be your fans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. So the whole time, Cheyenne's in the closet. Was she, she eating? She eating snacks. She has some kind of foil. Like, she's eating. I'm like, girl, where did she's that like, come I'm gonna, from? I'm going to be here a, a while. So she, she came prepared. She a smart woman. Uh-huh. So um, so after some time, the couple falls asleep, and Cheyenne walks out like with attitude. Big mad. But why she, she mad? Said. You knew what was up. You knew he had but a girl. She, she was about to. You know. Yeah. Oh. You gotta think about that. Like she is now officially sexually frustrated. Okay. Like, you're right. You're right. You're right. A waste of my time. Exactly. Well, that was a waste of my time. Like you're I right. could have went and had another dick appointment, but no, I canceled on that one mm-hmm. to make but it you. One, but it is. You know, and you couldn't even make sure that your girlfriend wasn't here. Wow. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> the nerve. The nerve of you. <laughs> 
So this was a story that she was telling the girl. So um, Cheyenne just like, listen, if it wasn't as bad as that, then you good, girl. Like, that's as bad as it gets. Um, so Melissa, <clears throat> she's like, you know, it feels bad, but it's not good. Girl, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> not good is bad. So I understand. <laughs> like the same thing. She's like. Cheyenne just like, you know, you got to decide if he's worth it. It's not about what you think. It matters how you feel. Mm -hmm. Ty wasn't feeling that. Of course, Ty's never feeling nothing, though. Ty, Mm -hmm. pick a side already. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. First, you want to hear all about it. Then you're like, that's not good advice. Ty basically wants to have her do all this shenanigans. Like, yeah, girl. I'm going to be the bad devil on, on your back. Go do what you got to do. But then two seconds later, it's like, no, listen, my moral compass mm. says, that moral compass. Compass. you know, I don't think you should do this. But I feel like you should because I need this for my paper. Yeah. You know? For Just my paper. For my paper. <laughs> Just, you know, so whichever you choose, as long as I make sure that you don't think that it's my fault. Mm-hmm. Like, I want you to know I'm against this, but I'm here for you. Right, 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 right. Do what you got to do ma'am true 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 listen if i have any friends like ty can y'all please leave me alone i don't want none of y'all i'm fighting you i'm fighting you (laughs) like on site like what (laughs) on site yes like what kind of what 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 kind of advice did you just give me yes (laughs) yes um so Mel says, you know, she hasn't made a decision yet. You know, they're taking it day by day. Mm-hmm. And then she said, like, to be honest, my phone was dry, okay? Um, yes. I wasn't getting any DMs. Ain't nobody checking no for me. No checking for me on the streets. And he treats me well. <laughs> we can't keep our hands off each other. We you are know, passionate. We're like teenagers. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the exciting. danger. The danger of it. Right. All. That's the why thrill. Some people, that's why some people like to, like, um, deal with situations like this is because the thrill of getting caught. Yeah. But yeah. also... There's a lot of guys out here who lie. When I say they lie so well, I mean, they lie so well that you won't even know your age. You don't know your own name. Like, they'll just sit here. <laughs> they forget. Just, yeah, like, you just sitting there. You're like, yeah, nah, you probably right. That isn't my mama for real. <laughs> like, that's how good they lie. <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> But that's how good they lie. Like, so, like, in the beginning, um, I know that Ty was like, oh, why is it that you don't do X, Y, and Z? You know, like, why is it that you didn't know and, like, tried to put the blame on her? And it's like, "Um, I'm sorry. Have you not seen some of these men out here? They lie about everything. Mm -hmm. If we got DL homeboys for years, Mm -hmm. what make you think that this man can't lie about a whole wife that he don't like and a and, baby and a baby yeah yeah don't forget that baby don't forget the baby <laughs> can't forget the baby mm-mm, mm-mm. that's what's solidifying their relationship exactly like exactly <laughs> he's like i can't leave her because she has she my has son. My, son. my son if you don't go co-parent <laughs> <laughs> i can't um so ty then she asked cheyenne like okay so what do you get out of it like what do you why do you only date men who are unavailable do you ever feel bad about dating someone else's husband the interview starts notepad in her hand why she's on the therapist chair she's not playing how how does that make you feel once again y'all not paying attention (laughs) (laughs) watch her you gotta watch her ass yes yes but seriously like, do you ever feel bad about dating someone else's husband? I don't want the headache. I just want the moment. And if the moment is right with a hot guy with Michael Phelps abs and a black card and he has on a ring, then that's his conscience. Not mine. I don't know his wife a damn thing. He does. But, but then Melissa chimes in like, it doesn't matter. Brent is getting a divorce. And Cheyenne was like, oh, baby, that's what they all say. They, each and every it's one of them happening. say that, girl. <laughs> Don't believe it. Don't believe the hype. She's like, but we want to be together. <laughs> You're not getting it. She, Melissa's like, why would he be with her if he wants to be with me? Baby girl, you're not getting it. She's not getting it. So Cheyenne's like, listen, it's a man's issue. If he decides to be faithful to his wife, and not the sing- it's not the single woman's issue. Like, you don't have to worry about anything. It's all on him. Mm-hmm. And it's like, this is what it is. I'm safe. I'm careful. But there was no condom in that last I ain't want to say nothing. Uh, mm. I, I was trying to fake mind my business. <laughs> okay. I was trying to mind my I business. I was trying to mind my business. I ain't but, seen uh, no condom wrapper. But nothing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay Sean. You okay, you got a girl. 
But you say. Um, Ty is just like, it doesn't seem right in the sneakiness of it all. So at this point, Shy is hip to her game. She's like, all right, Barbara Walters, what are you doing? Why are you concerned all of a sudden? Like About my love life. Yes, you got that little notepad everywhere we go. Mm-hmm. Something. Finally. Cause finally. notices. Because conniving peep conniving. <laughs> <laughs> but Ty was looking like she got caught. She was like, huh? Huh? Like what? No, Mm-mm. no. I don't have a big notepad right in front of you. Right? right? What? What notepad? Uh, yeah. So Ty, she's like hiding her note. She's like, no. I just think that you know it helps us get to know each other. I'm like, y'all known each other long enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what do you need to know? Nothing. <laughs> what are you talking about? Fine. I won't say anything anymore. Done. Mail, sweetie. Just be careful. Don't give him your whole heart. He doesn't deserve it. The girl too late. I said that too. I said, girl. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> the whole heart. She got, he got all the heart. All parts of that heart. <laughs> all hearts. He got the top, ventricles. So Mel so thinking about, you know. The aorta. The aorta. <laughs> like he all got the things. <laughs> <laughs> so Mel thinking about the good old days. Yeah. And then she says, you know, you know what? I think I'm going to do it. We're going to be together. You know, I'm going to be his Olivia Pope. I said, girl, that's not your girl, name. <laughs> that should not be what you're you not sh- that girl. Cut it out. <laughs> you cannot handle Olivia Pope's life. Plus, Olivia was lonely. What are you even yes. talking about? She hated her life. That's why she did drank you watch wine Scandal? every single night. Did you watch Scandal? She sure did drink wine every single <laughs> night. And a large, large, oh, glass. large glass I need of pop- wine. I need she popcorn, too. <laughs> and popcorn. Yeah, yes. popcorn. Yes. Listen, so I told y'all. So Ty writing the note. She's like, Olivia. Pope. Circle that. Let's write Netflix tonight. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me recap. Let me this. recap. How yes, does she... Inspiration. How does so now, my correlate. question to All both right. of you. Hold wait, on, wait. hold on. Oh, okay, go ahead. So that's how the episode ends. So, you know, so much more. Let's get yeah. into the QCC. Yes. Right. Don't forget, you guys can send your QCC. Um, send them to seriouslypodcast at gmail.com or DM us at Seriously Podcast. Or send check us, out our website. Check out our website, and you can um, send us a QCC there in the contact box. All right, ladies, so let's get into it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, wait, you had one first? I Please, had a question you. for the both or everybody that's here. Now, do you think that there can never be a happy ending for a quote unquote side chick. Why? <sighs> Ooh, that's mm. a good question. <laughs> um, I mean, wasn't Alicia Keys Swiss B side chick? Okay. Well, that's a success story. I heard from many sources, even Ma- Mashika, Masaka, 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 I knew it was something with a ma uh-huh. and a sha. Uh-huh. <laughs> there was a ma and a sha there. I ain't know the ending. <laughs> but um, she even said, like, they actually were on a break. Like, she was with Cassidy around that time, and he had moved on to Alicia. But because of the fact that Alicia was with him and they actually were successfully together, mm-hmm. everybody kind of sort of, like, bashed her for it. Right, and I'm like, right. within a marriage, in my opinion... Whatever we agreed upon in the marriage is what we'd agreed upon. Mm. So I feel like when it comes to women, um, they take more of the the brunt of the backlash, whereas the husband never does, mm. which I think is wrong. Yeah, because mm. yeah. it's like, I'm sorry, what what were those vows that you exactly um, you it's had? Because it's more expected for a man to cheat. But that's the thing. Then we start to excuse the behavior. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's not fair. Because if you're excusing the behavior of the man because it's expected for a man to cheat, who said females don't cheat? I know a lot of them. Mm-hmm. They be they out here. I know, I know a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's more accepted. True. And do you think, like, it should be like that? No. no. I'm all about equality. I mean, equality? that's always all about equality. equality. You're, all about the, you're all about the equal? Yes. It's the all equal. about the equality. The o- so do always you think- so quick to call the girl a hoe, but yeah. the guy a player. About that's it. like a tale old as time. Mm. Old as time. As old as time <laughs> and as tired as it is. Yes, yes. Because it's like, for me personally, I was in a situation myself where there was somebody who lied about his, like, who he's dealing with. So I was like, hmm. Now, 
at least after I found out, I came up with the idea of whether or not I wanted to continue mm-hmm. or I didn't want to continue. Right. Decided not to continue with it. Right. But that's on me. Right. I have another friend who she decided to continue or whatever the case is. And she asked me, she was like, okay, so you're so in love. Like, like when I say you guys were so in love, I mean, like we did everything together. That's why I would have, I would have never thought Mm. because when I say it was like every day, every single day, not a single moment where we like separated or nothing else like that. And for her, she's like, Oh, you were so in love. Like, how could you walk away? I said, because I think about myself and I think about my child. Mm -hmm. If this person could lie to me about all of these things or whatever the case is, I am not going to put myself in a predicament where they can lie about something else. And the next thing you know, my daughter is motherless. Yeah. You know, but that's for me. And for her, her reasoning and the guy that she ended up dealing with, he ended up getting a divorce and he actually ended up being faithful to her. Mm -hmm. Um, Or so we think. Listen, I'm just, I'm just, look, I'm being Uh, real. All right. Okay. I got it. Okay. All right. Um, (laughs) It happened once. (laughs) You know, listen. And, I'm a true believer in that. If you did it once, I believe you're gonna do I, it again. Yeah, you I lose them, how you get them? I don't Talk always believe that. in that. I, I for some reason I don't because if it's okay mm-hmm. for you to change and it's okay for you to change, why yeah. is it not okay for me to change? It's tricky. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's by case by case. It is. It should never be something where it's like, oh, once a cheater, always a cheater. It's like. Mm-hmm. There's circumstances. Mm-hmm. Like, there's certain things that sometimes happen. It yeah. Was that person, like, in a depression? Because depression does play a, a yeah. key part in that. Or if the person's bipolar, majority of people who have bipolar disorders, they are very sexually fluid, and mm-hmm. it's not necessarily, like, that they don't want to be monogamous or they don't want to, like, be with someone else. It's just, like, I really can't stop myself, yeah. you know? So sometimes... You know, those are things like, oh, you know, uh, I had this ex coworker of mine. I'm over here telling everybody business right now. <laughs> and um, then my cousin. No. <laughs> and then my cousin, the way that she was set up. Um, no, but I had a coworker. This is why I'm not saying no names. No, no, names. no, no names. No names. No names. No, names. Names. no names case. <laughs> um, kind of sort of like no face, no case. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I had this coworker. I met her years ago. Um, I've had many jobs. I've done many things in life. So y'all won't even be able to pinpoint a person even if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Um, So her situation was her mom met her dad and her mom and her dad have like eight, nine, 10, 12 kids, right? So they have a whole bunch of kids. They live together. He takes care of everybody. He's been with her faithful for that whole entire time. Mm -hmm. Come to find out he was actually still married to his first wife. I just fell out. <laughs> like, like he was still mad at her wife. And the first wife, like, she went off and she had her family also, but she never wanted to get divorced from him because she believed that, you know, once married, we're supposed to stay married. Wow. And I'm like, sis, you might as well just got that divorce and yes. called it a day. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But there's some women who do stuff like that. But he found love and built a family with this woman built a huge family with this woman like till this day you nobody else could have told him that he was married to the first woman mm. so but he's still married he's still married to this day they've been married for 45 46 years at this point <laughs> she's like mm-mm, mm-mm. what no. yeah so the um the so group, the the, the, the the mother of the 12 kids is not yeah. married to him no she's huh? okay with that oh yeah and she's okay with that and the the first wife went and had a whole. She had a family. whole other but they family, and they're just not married. Won't but they divorce. won't get. She won't give him the divorce because she's like, you know, as a Christian woman. Okay. But I'm, you're I'm living like, a double life. Isn't life. that adultery? Ain't that yeah. adultery still? Hmm. Okay, no. But that, but that's some people's yeah. mentality towards it. So that's why I'm like. I don't fully agree because I've seen so many cases where it's like some people just stay married just to stay yeah. married. And then you have those who are married and who just be in line, mm-hmm. conniving. Yeah. Shit yeah. Those. And some people just get married because they think they have to. Like the kid comes in and is like, mm-hmm. oh, I've been with her for X amount of years. So I got to marry her. And it's her. like you're forcing yourself yeah. to be with yeah. someone. So when you find someone that you truly do love, it's like, oh, shoot. Exactly, and it's like should have waited. I should have waited. I should have waited. Just mm. just one more year. Because I, I had somebody who did that. He was like, yo, like 
let's be together. No. Mm-hmm. Why not? You're taken. <laughs> <laughs> like, and mind you, like, I did Why love not? him. Like, I loved yeah, him with yeah. all of my heart. But I could not take that step no. like I said that's for me like me personally so that's why I can't judge another person off of whether or not they do or they don't because all of it is circumstantial yeah, yeah. everything is circumstantial that is true that so is. what about Brent's circumstance first off Brent <laughs> needs to lead that woman he needs he to do. lead so you think he woman. really loves Mel I feel like he I feel like he's infatuated with the idea that's of the Mel word. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think that he loves her per se because he would, I'm sorry. If you this miserable with this woman, Natalie, Mm -hmm. leave, Yeah, go peace out. That way she can, you know, rebuild herself. Mm-hmm. She can figure so out you who holding she her is. back. Yeah. yeah, like you holding her back because she's over here vying and fighting to find out like what's wrong with us. And it's like, nah, shorty, it's nothing wrong with us. I just really don't like you. <laughs> Basically. Like, that's the bottom line. Yeah, like I don't like you. And that's how he treats her. And yeah. that's wrong. Like if you he doesn't like hide her, it. Leave her at, all, at all. I mean, there has to be a reason why he hasn't left her yet. Um, the, the son. Baby. Remember, you told yeah. us to remember the baby. You yeah, said, I did say that. listen, don't you forgot the baby, baby already? No, forgot don't. the baby. Can't she forget forgot forget about the baby. baby. I ain't want to say nothing. She <laughs> forgot the baby. She forgot, forgot about, about the baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. like Brent needs to go. What are your thoughts on Brent? Yeah, I think he needs to. Well, at this point, Brent is a loser. He mm. is a loser because. <laughs> What it's looking like right now, you got two side chicks and a wife. Yes. Because yes. homegirl was very adamant, like, why are you That's with my, my man? man? That's my <laughs> man. So what are you telling her? All right. So I'm going to play devil's advocate because Uh-oh. that's just what I do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So I have a stalker who swears <laughs> up and down that me and him are just together. We've always been together. Oh, you know, we're going to be together till the end of time. Whole nine yards. Right? Whoa. <laughs> I was like, I haven't even seen you in five years. Oh, no. I have a restraining order against Do you. Do you really? Bruh, how you still, where's the love? Like, what makes you think, oh, wow. you're just mad right now? No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm not mad just for right now. I'm like, very I'm happy. Legit. Actually, yeah, I'm actually <laughs> very I'm doing ex- well. <laughs> I'm very, very happy with life. Um, And, you know, He's crazy enough to think that. So it could be to, this pay, woman too. to play devil's advocate. We don't necessarily know whether or not he told Shorty they had a, a future, mm-hmm. or if Shorty decided they was gonna have a future. Yeah. She's gonna X out. She could be obsessed with this. Exactly. Guy. I'm just so, saying. but I don't. Something's just not right because, like, how you found Melissa? Did you go to the wife? Like, oh, most likely. Most but likely, the wife seemed like she don't know nothing. Well, yeah. that's in this episode. We oh, don't yeah. even know how far. Know. Yeah, we don't know how far into the future, future. that one is. You're right, you're right, you're right. Because she, not, she, she got must be knocking on everybody's door. Exactly. Or if anything, she probably saw Natalie was weaker mm-hmm. and was like, now nah, you good, ma. Yeah, she's <laughs> yeah, the wife, I Exactly. Guess. Yeah. You the wife, I guess. But she <laughs> sees that Brent really likes Mel. Exactly. Because you can see the way he looks at her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, even, even though I don't like... The, the the actor himself. <laughs> oh no, um, she ain't alone. Listen, look. Once he said that. Once he said shit, and he or is like stop that shit or something. I love he you, tried girl. To curse or something. I love yeah. I love, I love the, the shit the, out mm-hmm. of you. Yeah, he turned me all the way off because it doesn't sound natural yeah. coming from him. Like it's it wasn't like him. It's, he tried. And he tried though. You know, kudos. But it worked. Kudos. It worked for Melissa. Of course, it worked for Melissa. She it better have life. worked for <laughs> Melissa because it was gonna work for me. <laughs> I'd have been like, I'd have been laughing like, in his boy, face. Like, boy, if you don't fix exactly. that, Taya. <laughs> like, if you don't get on, get, get on the face. Floor. <laughs> How dare you going to pretend to curse at me. Um, but, yeah, no, like, even with that, like, he's, I feel like you can tell from the way that he looked at her. Like, even with their acting, like, he looked at her like yeah. that's the woman that he's in love with. So it's like hit, hit, um, emotion wise, as far as acting goes, he conveyed that so well with the eyes. And to be able to do that is really, really hard, especially when it comes to actors, because they're not really all the time able to convey how they feel mm-hmm. with just silent emotions or, you know, just the eyes or just, you know, um, panning in or panning out. So I like that. aspect. Yeah, true. 
Um, and as far as Ty, which side are you on? Like you're upsetting me. Yeah. Because when Mel's talking about she don't really want to get back with him, you coming up with lists as to why she needs to get back with him. And when she says, you know, I'm pretty much going to go back with him, you big mad. Because she's she's stuck in between her real feelings and the feelings she need them to convey for her book. Like, she got to pick a side. She's being too hot. Yeah. And then also, not only that, like I said, conniving recognize conniving. Mm-hmm. There's something about, like, trying to exploit the pain of your friend because when you're in love you start doing stupid stuff like we all know this there's mm-hmm. there we know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that doesn't cut somebody ties it's twice you know three or four times in a life mm-hmm. and it's unfortunate but <laughs> it's a, like you said earlier it's a, a tale as old as time yeah yeah but like that's the thing like you you see that your friend is conflicted on what she wants to do and you're drilling her with questions that she's already asking herself. How is she going to have an answer for right, you? Right, she ain't got the answer, Sway. She don't know. Mm-mm. If Mm-mm. she knew, she would have already been like, all right, so this is what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. But you, nah, no. Yeah. Y'all could keep Ty. I don't want her as a friend. <laughs> I don't want her. I don't want her. I don't want her as a friend. Y'all could keep it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so welcome we Chanel. have our girl Chanel. Oh, at the <laughs> Chanel Complex in the building with us. Whoop, whoop. Hi, hey, guys. girl. Hey. <laughs> she come with a note. So oh, you yes. have some QCCs for us? Yes, I do. I she came ready. Notes. She comes so ready. <laughs> <laughs> but you got it together. You did well, though. You do everything from the dome. You know? Yes. So, okay, okay, so, so you got? I have, like, three questions slash comments from each episode so we're gonna go back to episode three uh-huh. i want to say with that car scene they tried it like come <laughs> on they really tried it like mel knew what she was doing yes. when she called him trying yes. to like mm-hmm. oh uh, what are you doing here uh, you knew exactly you knew what she, she probably doing. ruined her car on purpose yes <laughs> And Brent, he had the nerve talking about why didn't you call Triple A? Why did you come? Why did you come? Why didn't you come? So right. I didn't tried it. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you pay for my Triple A? You want me to have it so badly? Pay for it. Pay for my Triple A. Pay for they, it. They both knew what they were doing. Exactly. They in love. And then um, getting to the park scene, I wonder why is Brent so rude to his wife? Like, he hates I her. Know what what does he have against her? So I would like to see how that plays out. Yeah. Very aggressive. Later on in the season. And you made a very good point. I'm going to get to where we're going to stalker, the devil's oh. advocate. <laughs> <laughs> so getting to um, back in the, in the park scene mm-hmm. where um, Ty gave out Mel's government name <laughs> in the video. Yes. My, I don't know. For some reason, I was like, oh. I was like, you know what? This name, oh. I feel like it's going to, she going to, Mel is going to get caught out there. The name's going to end up somewhere over the internet. Mm. Yeah. And regarding the once it's on the internet, <laughs> stay forever. That's good. That's good. And then you put an idea in my head regarding the the stalker slash devil's advocate. Okay, what if the lady from episode one, the fir- very first scene, the lady that was like, "Oh, you messing with my man." What if that lady caught Mel and Brent together, and then you know how her name gets caught on the internet, Mel's yeah, name? Yeah. What if the lady finds out? the name and then she does some little investigative stuff some stalker yes. stuff what Mel should have been Mel doing lived, mm-hmm. right? and that's the scene where she yes. goes to the house that's yeah. probably it and attack her that so that's, just, that's the thought that came in my head right <laughs> cause how else would she have got her information and, right. right and then like I said it doesn't make sense for it to be like oh that's just um a friend or you get what I'm saying mm-hmm. but go ahead yeah, so when you said stalk, I was like, you know what? I'm putting, trying to put two and two yeah. together. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go to investigate a team so right now here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to go to... We're black and we don't play that. Okay. No. <laughs> okay, talk well, about we it. do our research. Talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay, so get into episode four with um, Cheyenne and her boo in the bed but when mm-hmm. she was trapped in the closet r <laughs> kelly yeah i thought the same thing to r kelly yes. that i, I want to know when i was looking at her and look at she was eating i was like is she really snacking i want to know what was she snacking on <laughs> that is that good and how the, how the girlfriend didn't just... hear it <laughs> how good didn't for hear open opening foil, foil. i was like what's that <laughs> 
Oh, um, okay. But like, what was so good? Like, if I was in that situation, I would be mortified. Yeah. I would be scared. She's like, used to this yeah. life. And stuff. So she what brings a snack so every good? time. <laughs> she brings snacks. She's like, this is, <laughs> she does this on the regular. Like, I For wonder moments what like she was this. really eating to just mm-hmm. be, you know, like, she eating it like she's watching a movie. Like, right. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to let y'all finish. Like, just <laughs> my... I thought she would have snuck out when the girl was under the covers. Yeah, that's what I that thought, was, too. I thought, like, why didn't you just leave at that point? No. <laughs> so then my um second comment is Mel, she's delusional. She thinks that Brent is gonna divorce his wife. But mm-hmm. she was like, Oh, I'll be Olivia Pope. I was like, Olivia Pope, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, said, I said that out loud when I was watching the episode. Yes. Like, like really like, girl, really? come on. Olivia Pope Olivia is not who you should be life. guiding your life off of. <laughs> but you no, be they trembling. Never do. They <laughs> they never that she their wife. Like how many seasons it took him to leave Millie? Did he even leave Millie? Six. Yeah. And then when she when he left her, she didn't want him anymore. See, that's not why. She saw him in a different light. That's crazy. It's the thrill. It's the thrill. <laughs> it's the thrill. Yeah, but she tried it with that. hmm <laughs> And then my last comment was this episode is too short. I was like <laughs> yeah, really was getting ignorant. into it. Was. It was. And as soon as like it's really building up getting into it, then the rolling the and then credits comes on. I was like, oh, Come on. it was eight minutes and 28 seconds. All the other episodes <laughs> were longer. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this one was short. Yeah. This one was short. Hopefully the other episodes are longer. Yeah. And it was Cheyenne's episode. So we right. could have went a lot more with Cheyenne. Right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because she, she owns the side check. All right. Um, that was good. Thank yeah. you, Chanel. Thank you for having me, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's awesome. Um, you have anything else? Yeah. Um, for Mel, it's an oldie but a goodie. Okay. Why are you so dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back. Like when Ty was asking Cheyenne all those questions about, you know, what do you get out of it? Why date a man that's unavailable? Do you feel bad? Like, what were your responses? I'm gonna be Olivia Pope. Are you serious? She's not thinking. She's naive. She's not thinking. But she seemed naive from when, first off, there's no way I'm going to make you a full-on breakfast, and then you say one smart remark, yeah. I throw it out, and then I give you my breakfast? Yeah. No! Heck no! Once I saw that, I already knew who she was as a person. True. She. Mm-hmm. That's true. Doormat. She forgives very easily. Very doormat. Easily. She's a doormat. Oh. That's why I was like, I already saw what kind of person she was going to be. Um, and then also the way that Ty already knew like how to butter her up. So it's like, you don't want Brent to have this type of power over your friend, but you have the same that's power same over power. your friend. Oh, manipulative. That's deep. Yes. That's deep. Listen, I catch on to everything. That's true. I see everything. Also, Mel, you know uh, divorce costs money, right? It does. Are you ready? Are you ready to be a ride or die? Are you about that? Four hundred dollars. <laughs> Y'all better in California. I don't know. California is less than that. Y'all better. And then up. you don't know if this wife might be, you know, trifling and give him a hard time she in court. Uh, is Mel willing to like stay with him the entire time? No. No, soon. She's she's for the moment know, too. She love him. She's just like Cheyenne. She's for the moment. She don't I really think... want that white picket fence. Not with him. I don't. I don't fully agree with that. Only reason why is because, like, she's so gung-ho about the whole, my parents were married, and they were married for 46 years, (laughs) and this, that. Remember, those were her reasons for wanting to to stick around. So I feel like she probably would stick around to continue to be ditzy. But um, I feel like when it comes to Brent. He wouldn't want her. I feel like after it's done, it's like, all right, we're done. Or he would try, but it's like it already had gotten too far. Like, you know how some guys are. They string it longer than it needs to be. Yeah. Because he could have gotten a divorce. Like, there's, I'm sorry. I'm one of those people, if I'm not happy, I leave. Mm -hmm. that's for any and everything yeah if i'm at a party and you drove me there i'm sorry the good thing about making your own money is i got money for a cab i'm leaving but to play devil's advocate i just i just thought about this mm -hmm. what if the wife's family invested in like his business his side business or something like that like there has to be a reason as to why he's staying with this particular woman um well what would have been smart is if she invested all that time ago or when they were dealing or whatever the the those circumstances circumstances are obviously you're not that good with money and you shouldn't have gotten invested in with period because by now you should have tripled that cash and then been about your business because if you're going to use somebody for their cash you got to do it quick black china taught me oh (laughs) please do not 
I'm done. <laughs> no, I joke, I joke, I kid, I kid. Um, but no, seriously, like if you if you if you got with somebody for the money, right? After a while, it's like, all right, I got with you for money. I don't need you no more. Or if if you really a hustler, you flip that cash. Mm-hmm. Somehow, some way, you find a way to flip that cash Take on notes. whatever was invested. Now, for me, I feel like the way that he treats Natalie, I'm sorry. If I'm not happy, I will leave. Yeah. I, do, I don't care enough. Yeah. I'm not going to stick around and be like, oh, you know, but they put money in. Okay, and I can make my own money. Mm-hmm. I got a job. Yep. He do work. So mm. obviously they invest. They didn't invest a lot because he's still working for somebody. <laughs> yeah. I want to see what their home life is like. Me too. Yeah, she's she's so enthralled in the baby, um, and she's probably insecure about her body, especially after having a baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I feel like he is he probably not doesn't supportive. Like, yeah, that's what I was no. gonna say. Brent, we it don't like you. Of, um, I don't want to say nothing. Why did I get married? Joe Scott's character. Yes. Yeah, that's what that reminded me yeah. of. Yeah, like he, he don't like her no more because mm-hmm. she's a little bit bigger. Mm-hmm. And that's crazy to me because it's like, all right, when somebody gets bigger through time, you don't always notice that the person got bigger through time because like you see them every day. Everything is like you you kind of just grow with that person being this way. And then after a while, you like, damn, babe, you getting. A little- a little weight or something like that <laughs> but the fact that he he he's so disgusted with yeah. her yeah he was like let's not even talk the whole exactly time like here. don't even talk to me from point don't a to point even look what how many minutes he said it was 15 yeah, 15, um, 15 was down like, the full 15. 30 he was like you drank much. all the water it's hot out here i don't want to be around you i was like damn <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is how you treat your wife? Yeah. <laughs> you treat your side chick like you treat your wife. Yeah. He likes the, the image of the woman. Because look at Mel. Like, she's super fit. He loves her body. Mm-hmm. But he don't like his wife's body. No. He looking at her like, you trash, girl. Right. What happened? <laughs> you trash. You trash. I want to see what um his wife looked like before the baby. Because mm-hmm. maybe that could also assist us. Yeah. Um, because she probably, you know, was like this fit confident woman yeah and then now she's no longer that person mm-hmm. and then he's like okay that's not what i'm attracted right to. right and it's like that's why i tell people um oh yeah also i am an ordained minister oh so just throwing that the in the grinds there. don't stop she said she did it she done it she done did it all <laughs> listen it's <laughs> not a joke i ain't want to say nothing not to toot my own horn to too um no but seriously um one thing that i tell like if i'm you know counseling someone and, and i explain to them i'm like listen I'm like, make sure that the things that are superficial, that you think about them before you get married. Like, oh, am I still going to like this person if they gained weight? And don't just sit there and say yes, because it's the right thing to say. Mm. Or don't just sit there and be like, okay, because, you know, society deems it. No, be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. Are these things that are your deal breakers? If these are your deal breakers, why are you sticking around? Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So like... I would tell somebody, I'm like, okay, if this person tells jokes all day, every day, in the beginning, it's cute. Like, oh, okay. But think about, can I deal with him telling jokes every goddamn day for the next 10 <laughs> right, years of my life? Right, you gotta think about the future. You gotta think about those, you know? And um, I don't think, you know, if you ever plan on getting married, think about this in advance, because mm-hmm. this not what you want. Because mm-hmm. Lord knows, I'm sorry, Brent, we'd have gotten a divorce. I would have took you for half, if not everything that you had. <laughs> Um, especially if I found out about your side chick, I'm taking everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I will make sure that and I the have baby. A, the baby too. Listen, mm-hmm. you get visitations once or twice a month because I'm tired of your <laughs> shit. that much. Because <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just me. True, true, true. Cool. Anything else? Mm-mm. Thank you for introducing me to it because I ain't know nothing about nobody's step for a side chick. <laughs> I thought y'all was going to show me the um, Charlotte side chicks of whatever the. Ch- was. I was like, oh, no, I was like, yes. No. Step for side chicks, much different. Much different. So that's it for episodes three and four. We want to thank our guests for coming in. Let us know, let the people know where they can find you. Me. Yes, hi. Hi. yes. Um, <laughs> You can find me on um, Instagram, Facebook. Twitter, YouTube, anywhere. 
Um, just Google Jador Vestia. That's J A D O R E V A S T I A, or just type in Vestia Sylvester, and you can find me everywhere. <laughs> Chanel. Hey, so you can find me on YouTube and Instagram at the Chanel Complex. On my YouTube, I do natural hair videos, Ow. vegan Ow. videos, yeah. vlogs, random <laughs> discussions, anything goes on my channel, so check me out. And that's Chanel spelled S-H-A-N-E-L-L. <laughs> <laughs> thank you ladies thank you <laughs> oh this was such a fun episode yes this is dope so if you're enjoying the show please rate on iTunes follow on SoundCloud and hit those like buttons on there too don't forget to also check out our website send us your QCCs at seriouslypodcast.com also August 3rd to the 6th Urban Web Series Summit August 3rd to the 6th your girls uh, will be hosting a panel so make sure you guys grab your tickets we're gonna leave a link to that so you guys can make sure to come through. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks. Bye. 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 Right here on Seriously.